A warm greeting, today is Tuesday, September 12, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will provide an update on the forecast for Hurricane Lee, which is beginning to turn northward. Over the next few days, it will impact Bermuda, regions of the northeastern United States, and Nova Scotia. Additionally, in the latter part of this video, I will be talking about Invest 97 and Invest 98, which have a high probability of becoming Tropical Storm Nigel over the next few days as they move through the tropical Atlantic. Briefly, I wanted to mention that Hurricane Margot continues to move northward over open waters of the Atlantic and poses no threat to land areas. Let's begin by discussing Hurricane Lee, which continues to be a powerful Category 3 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. While it is forecasted to no longer strengthen, it's worth noting that the wind field of tropical storm and hurricane force winds has expanded considerably over the last 36 hours. This is a cyclone with a very broad circulation that has undergone several eye-wall replacement cycles, resulting in an extensive cyclone with tropical storm and hurricane force winds extending hundreds of miles from the center of circulation. Over the next few days as it moves northward, it is expected that the circulation will continue to expand, and the effects will be significant in the northeastern United States and Nova Scotia. You can see the expansion of the tropical storm and hurricane force wind fields in this image. Yellow represents tropical storm force winds, and red represents hurricane force winds. As you can see, the wind field's extent today is quite impressive, and these winds will continue to generate strong waves across the Caribbean, the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the entire eastern United States. Now, let's look at the latest trajectory models. There is a consensus that Hurricane Lee will continue to move generally northward over the next four days. The consensus suggests that the center of circulation should make landfall west of Nova Scotia or pass between Nova Scotia and the state of Maine. Although the center of circulation currently appears to be east of the U.S. coast, the circulation is very broad, so some tropical storm effects are expected to affect the states of Maine, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and parts of New York. As Hurricane Lee moves through this Atlantic region, sea surface temperatures are slightly cooler than usual due to the passage of Hurricane Adalia and Hurricane Franklin in this area, which lowered ocean surface temperatures. Therefore, intensity models are predicting a gradual weakening process over the next 12 hours. However, when it reaches the northeastern United States or Nova Scotia, it is expected to be a Category 1 hurricane with an extremely broad circulation. Here is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. You can see that by tomorrow, it is anticipated to weaken to a Category 2 hurricane and pass just west of Bermuda. Tropical storm winds are expected to be felt in Bermuda, so a tropical storm watch has been issued. Like the trajectory models, the National Hurricane Center estimates that the center of circulation will reach western Nova Scotia by Saturday afternoon. As Hurricane Lee takes this path, it will continue to produce high waves and dangerous marine currents along the northern Bahamas and the entire east and southeast coast of the United States. Caution is advised as some coastal flooding, erosion, and dangerous marine currents are expected, especially for Bermuda. As it moves further north between Friday and Saturday, strong waves will move toward the east and northeast of the United States and much of Nova Scotia. This will also lead to strong waves, dangerous marine currents, and coastal erosion, as well as flooding along the coast. In the following animation, you can see the extent of tropical storm and hurricane force winds as Hurricane Lee continues its northward path. In orange and red, you can see that gusts of wind of up to 70 or 75 miles per hour may affect Bermuda on Thursday and Friday. Then, between Friday night and Saturday, tropical storm winds should affect much of the northeastern United States, especially along the coasts of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maine, New Hampshire, and New York. Tropical storm force winds may also affect the southwest portions of Nova Scotia and coastal regions of Maine. A tropical storm watch is likely to be issued for these areas, and possibly even a hurricane watch for parts of Maine and Nova Scotia. Furthermore, a rain event may impact all these areas, with significant wind being a particular concern. If you reside in these areas, it's important to prepare for the impact of Hurricane Lee. In terms of the severity of Hurricane Lee's effects, you can see that the northeastern United States will experience significant impacts, with moderate effects expected in eastern Maine. However, the most significant impacts will be felt in Nova Scotia. Now, let's talk about Invest 97 and Invest 98. If we take a closer look at the infrared satellite image, you can see that both systems currently have weak circulations and are not generating thunderstorm activity near their centers. Over the next 72 hours, both systems are expected to merge into a single entity, and this is where we anticipate the development of a tropical cyclone. It is likely to be named Tropical Storm Nigel and may strengthen into Hurricane Nigel. At 2 p.m., 
the National Hurricane Center increased the probability of tropical depression development to 80%, but overall, the projection is that it will move northwestward, gaining latitude fairly quickly and staying far away from the Caribbean. This forecast is supported by all models, which show a trajectory far from the Caribbean. Therefore, we don't need to be concerned about Hurricane Nigel in the Caribbean. When it moves over the central Atlantic waters, it is projected to continue strengthening and may likely become the sixth hurricane of the hurricane season. Some models even suggest it could become a major hurricane. This hurricane season has been remarkably active, and it seems that it will remain so in the coming days. In the long term, there is still some uncertainty about where Hurricane Nigel will be heading. Some models project a westward trajectory, which could be of interest to Bermuda or perhaps the eastern United States. However, most models indicate that it will move over open Atlantic waters without posing a threat to land. Nevertheless, this is a long-term forecast, and there is still uncertainty about the exact path of this future cyclone. This aligns with the projection of the ensemble model members of the European model, where we essentially have two scenarios, one with a trajectory over open Atlantic waters and another that could bring Hurricane Nigel close to where Hurricane Lee is currently located. Once again, Hurricane Nigel might be of interest to Bermuda and possibly Nova Scotia and the northeastern United States. We will have plenty of days to monitor its progress. Well, that's it for this forecast update. To ensure you don't miss any of the videos I'll be recording over the next few days, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just go to the video description below, click on the red subscribe button, and then click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new content. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon with another update. Until then, Take care.